sis. Hey, boo, hey. What's up, boo? Gang, what's up, baby? <laughs> what's poppin'? What's going down in the life of a Taurus between the 1st and the 15th of October? What y'all got going on? As you can see, I'm a bit early. Just a few days. I'm sick as a dog. You know, I can't not be on camera fully. Hey, y'all. Hey. You see all this vapor rub and all of this good old eucalyptus. <laughs> okay, breathe, y'all. Okay, breathe. But I am trying to get these videos recorded. I don't want y'all generals to be late no more. So we rocking, okay? So this is not a uh, personal. It's a general reading. If you need that personal, that information can be found in the description box below. Low, okay. So here we go. This is what I have for my sun, moon, rising, Venus, as well as the cross watchers for the signs uh, of Taurus. I'm sorry for the sign of Taurus, y'all. New subscribers, welcome to the family. Thank you so much for supporting my channel, supporting me. Thank you so much for giving me this love and allowing me to share my light with y'all, old supporters. What's up, family? What's going down? Y'all know how it go. We are a dysfunctional family, but it's nothing but love. It's a bunch of crazies in the mix. Hell, I'm a crazy. I am the the the, the, the madame gatekeeper of of the mocha love. We I we rocking. Okay, y'all know I'm honest. I'm transparent. I'm always tell y'all the truth. All right. Um, but I'm a beautiful soul. Don't get it twisted. I turn up this in these little incense and this damn. These sage sticks and shit can turn into new ports and a whole damn 211 on your ass real quick. You understand me? So we rocking, all right? Y'all, we don't fuss. We don't fight. We leave that shit on other people's channel, okay? We love. We grow. We share. We cuss a little bit, but we evolve. That is the mission, all right? So this is for my tourists, my bull gang. Let's get it. From the 1st to the 15th of October, some of y'all are needing to use... Your emotions, trust what you feel versus being caught in your thoughts, okay? But some of you all, you're needing to put yourself first, okay? A lot of y'all will be putting yourself first, and you ain't going to be mad after doing so because a lot of y'all are trusting your intuition during this time. Some of y'all are also um, using your intuition, but I feel like some of you all are needing to conquer the shadow side of yourself. Don't take things that you intuitively know off the rip, okay? Don't move towards don't move with shadow like intentions okay during this time with the wisdom that you know all right nurture yourself love yourself for some of y'all you're preparing for the damn towers to fall and that's okay that is okay as long as it's true to yourself and you know that you put in everything that you could to make things work if it didn't work in the way that you wanted them to work two tears in a bucket fuck it you know everybody's not going to march to the tune of your drum vice versa you don't want to walk march to the tune of everybody's some of you guys have trust issues. That may be rooted during this time, okay? I feel like some of you all are not trusting with possibly reconciling with the family, uh, with a family dynamic. This could have something to do with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I feel like you've really been in your head. You've been trying to connect with your emotions, but the only thing you're connecting with is a whole bunch of damn thoughts, no sleep, and they're becoming obsessive to the point where you're beating yourself up. Okay, and it's making you indecisive. You're not communicating this during this time. However, you are being very damn defensive. Some of y'all could possibly have uh, want some type of family dynamic or feel like rejected or left out of some type of dynamic having to do with a family situation with the possible water sign, uh, earth sign. I'll see, I also see fire. Some of y'all have a Aries Leo Sagittarius in your energy. I feel like you're not really communicating your true internal conflict to this person. You're just being defensive, okay? And to this person, they looking at it like you're juggling. You're doing something sneaky. You got some shit going on, okay? Especially if you're dealing with an Aries, okay? I feel like a lot of y'all are wanting to move forward, start over, start something, uh, have something traditional, have this stability possibly with an Aries or a Leo. I even see Sag in the building. But however, you with this other person is getting ready to make a judgment call because towards you or the other person are going to have to make a decision. Some of y'all have two fire signs that you need to choose from. Some of y'all are getting juggled by another earth sign, possibly with yourself. Okay, this could be another Virgo Capricorn Taurus, but possibly with yourself and a fire sign and possibly an air sign too. But I feel like some of y'all don't know if you want to in the relationship, okay, or if you want to keep going, it definitely has to do with there being an equal level of give and take. Some of y'all are very indecisive. I mean, some of y'all have two people that you're passionate about. Some of y'all got a fire sign. It's fire sign, defensive as fuck, but there's so much passion that's there, okay? And some of y'all have an earth sign in your life. You possibly have a family dynamic with this person, but you feel like you give way more 
than they do. You're trusting your intuition, okay? Because I feel like some of you all know that you can actually save some sort of family dynamic, especially if you're trying to build one with an Aries or a Leo. Them too strongly. Um, I feel that if you're dealing with the air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, I feel the issue with them is that they live in their head, but they don't really communicate what it is, how they feel, okay? I feel, um, I feel that Taurus, some of y'all during this time are having a hard time with really knowing what it is that you truly want because you're not making the time to really put you first to have that time for you to just really nurture what it is that your heart desires. Some of y'all have y'all heart chakras that are blocked, I feel. Your heart chakra is blocked. It's just like, and it's trying to expand during this time. But for some of you, you need to work on your heart chakra, your solar plexus, as well as your root chakras during this time. Trust your intuition. Trust what it is that you feel because some of y'all, some of you all feel, okay, that you're getting ready to have to make a judgment call or possibly let somebody go. For some of you, you could be letting go of, um, <clears throat> some of y'all, if you have a situation where you're dating someone and you possibly didn't let someone from the past completely go, maybe you've been having one foot in the door, one foot out the door, just so you can have that pillar of comfort, that shit's finna end, Okay. I'm also seeing during this time towards yeah, some of y'all are definitely needing to communicate or you're going to be receiving communication from someone to truly let you know, you know, <clears throat> how it is that they feel, how they want to move forward. OK, and I feel like you're going to be victorious in doing so. Some of y'all are going to be moving away, walking away from a Scorpio. You feel like, you know what, for some of you, it's the mother or the father of your children. You feel like, you know, you always come into my life and cause this period of just conflict. I don't know what the fuck to feel. You come in and you come out as you please. You make me feel as if I'm not good enough, as if you're just rejecting my damn offer. Some of y'all are not communicating the fact that you really just want to move forward. You want to drop the damn burdens. Look, I'm not this family person who you want me to be. This structure is not set up for me because first off, we don't fucking communicate. Folks juggling this shit. It's time to make a judgment call towards somebody's going to be, and it has to do with transformation for a lot of you all, okay? And it's transforming you for the better because some of y'all are really, really, really fucking defensive. But you got one last fight in you. For some of you, it's going to involve an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and possibly either building a foundation with this person, or for some of y'all, you're going to be leaving one because you're tired of the defensive shit. You're tired of feeling like, I got to play chess. I got to play chess with your ass just to love you. So some of y'all have been focusing on your money, and your money is looking damn good. It's it's actually expanding during this time. <clears throat> some of you all, excuse me, y'all. I'm so sorry. I'm I'm cyanitis on my ass. Some of you guys have been waiting to expand financially. However, you got a bunch of takers around you, so spirit is keeping you stagnant, and you feel like you got a block on your money. You do. You your biggest block. What you want to do? Which way you want to go? For some of you all, you're starting something new. You've been nurturing it. It's your baby. It's something that you're passionate about. Spirits say, go ahead. It's going to flourish, baby. You have all this newness coming in. But something, somebody, something, some way, some people, that they get to do. Okay, honey? They got to go. Yeah, you're going to leave some people out. But you understand, some of y'all got people in y'all energy waiting to come up off of you, not with you. And for some of y'all, some of y'all know this about this, these people. And y'all literally finna just set a row for them to hang they self. But you're doing it in an emotionally manipulative way, Taurus. And for those of you who I'm speaking to, just because you intuitive, don't use it for, don't use it for ugly reasons. Some of y'all are going to find out that somebody could possibly been, uh, especially if you're dealing with a Scorpio, some of y'all going to find out that someone could possibly have an outside child somewhere. Um, this could involve a fire sign. Aries Leo Sag, you could also involve um a Virgo, Aquarius. This Aries full moon bought in some shit for y'all, but no nonsense is what I see Taurus on. No nonsense. Either we gonna fix it or fuck it. Period. Y'all let me know how this resonates. This is what I have for my Tauruses between the 1st and the 15th of October. If you need that personal reading, y'all get at me. It's in the description. I love y'all very much. Much love, much light. Many blessings. Namaste, family. Mwah.